It's interesting because we know, of course, that this trial so highlighted a racial divide in the country. But there's this poll, and I want to show you the numbers. Let's take a look at 1994. A large majority of whites thought Simpson was guilty. Six in ten African Americans, though, believe the charges against Simpson were not true. Fast forward, my friends, 20 years later. Look at the numbers now. Look at that. About a majority of African Americans now saying the murder charges against Simpson were true. What do you think? Have we evolved as a culture? What has happened? What is the shift? What do you account for? Well, I think that, you know, we come to realize what's true and what's not over time. And you get to know someone personally, right? We have seen lots of O.J. Simpson. Um, and I think that, that people looked at the whites and blacks, looked at the evidence um, the fact and came up with different conclusions because of pre preconceived notions. We all come to life with different filters. Mm -hmm. So I think many people looked at it objectively and they found O.J. Simpson guilty or not guilty. But I also think that many people looked at it and said, okay, this is, you have this beautiful blonde white woman and this guy killed by this black man. The black man is guilty. And then you have African Americans who uh, many of them are looked upon suspiciously who saw O.J. Simpson as someone who was being set up by the system, being mm -hmm. set up by the man, and therefore they drew their own conclusions as well. What do you think, though, when you look at this specifically at the number of, of African Americans? This is what I find very interesting. There's a huge jump for quarter to over half that now believe the charges were true. I, I think people. I've had conversations with people, yeah. and I've watched how their attitudes have changed. Yeah. All of us have changed. Well, I mean, what do they say? I hear a little bit of everything. Well, how is it only 53% <clears throat> think he's guilty? I'm surprised the number's not higher. Well, I, I think that, I th because I said, many African Americans are viewed upon suspiciously in society, and so they have a, they have a different um, take on what it's like to walk around as a person in America. So you're saying it's not about the evidence, it's about their feelings about the system and how that evidence was collected right. and, and how they made and they the case? The, and they thought the evidence, you know, was tainted. You know, you had uh, Mark Furman and, you know, the N-word and all that race played into it. But then you also had the uh, Los Angeles Police Department, mm -hmm. which we all know there are issues with race uh, in the Los Angeles Police Department. And then we don't, let's not forget, not too long before that, we had Rodney King, which mm -hmm. was out there mm -hmm. as well. So that played into the... It was, the, a, it the, was a very different time. To the, not only the LAPD part, not Los sure. Angeles part, but the country. <clears throat> yeah, that's we true. We saw Rodney King throughout the country and the world, and sure. then we saw O.J. Simpson, the same thing, throughout the country and, and the world. But I think people realize now, after seeing O.J. and some of his antics, you know, what he might have been capable of, but it's no different. I don't think it's any different now than the way people see George Zimmerman. I was because about to, you were in Orlando yeah, when the verdict, you know, was interesting. There yes. are many people who see George Zimmerman as someone who is, who is, who is right. innocent and he represents something. Mm -hmm. And But how can you not see, let's just say, how can you not see that George Zimmerman is guilty of killing someone? He right. killed them. The person is dead. Right. He admits it. So, you know, it's, I think it's the same thing. <laughs> And then also what's interesting, so there's another poll that I found uh, interesting that overall attitudes on race relations, I think we can pull this up, have, have obviously also changed. Uh, if you look at this, in 1994, an NBC Wall Street Journal poll found that less than half the country and only 44% of blacks thought the race relations in the U.S. were in very good or fairly good shape. Now those numbers are far more optimistic. Yeah. Well, I think we have We've to be. We've evolved. We should. Society? We should evolve. That's Are what we... happens, don't you think? As time we goes should. by, we should we evolve. Should. When we when we look at, you know, I hate to, this example because it's, you know, we always give an extreme of example. We look at the, the person in the White House as an African American. You know, you look at people who, you know, the the. Listen, I always say, the most popular person in the country, the wealthiest person in television as a personality, is oh, this. Brah this African-American woman with some hips who everybody loves. She's not what we consider to be perfection, right? right? right. And so I think the country is changing, and they, what we want to know more about people, not necessarily if they're black or white or what their hair color looks like, but who they are. And that's mm. why people love Oprah. That's why people are beginning to know their neighbors more because of who they are, not for what they look oh, like. Well, the fact is we see more people uh, of color, you know, high profile, as you've mentioned, the president, mm. Oprah, other people doing but I don't, think, we, I don't, I don't think that we're going to change as a country <clears throat> until and, and when it's not when it's until it's um, people who are not extremes like we are people well, who are successful where it's the average everyday average, person every you see walking yeah. down the street that you accept and you don't draw preconceived notions about them. look well, Don's going to be doing some interesting things tonight 10 p.m. Eastern right here on CNN he's talking about all aspects of the the trial the Simpson trial 
And taking a look at where the key players are now, that's an interesting look. That's right after a special CNN report, OJ's wild ride 20 years after the chase. The Bronco. Remember that? Live that airs at 9 p.m. you got some viewing to do tonight, people. Yeah.